The rescue operation by the police, together with Challenging Heights, a non-governmental organization, saw 23 children between the ages of 6 to 16 being rescued from child slavery and domestic servitude, mostly on the Volta Lake. These children were sold into slavery by their parents or guardian to work for money and have been denied access to education. The children who were rescued from 15 different villages along the Volta Lake suffered from Bilhazia, Hepatitis B, among others. Most of the children were found with rotten foot and in some cases the girls being used as domestic help were sexually assaulted. James Kofi Annan is the president of Challenging Heights and he spoke to City News about the rescue operation. The children were rescued in 15 different villages along Lake Volta. This brought the total number of children rescued by the organization in our 17 years of existence to nearly 1,700 children. It has taken us nearly three solid months of investigations and search to be able to rescue these 23 children. We faced a lot of opposition during the rescue process, but bringing them freedom is what has brought us joy. Despite achieving these successes, the NGO expressed worry over the lack of support from government towards state agencies and the fight against the menace. They also expressed worry over the emboldened stance of traffickers. According to them, the children are made to work an average of 15 hours a day, with many suffering from physical and mental torture. We are talking about children who have, some of whom have been sold, others tricked, others just smuggled onto the lake, and they are forced to work some 15 hours a day, and some even work in the night. We are talking about children who have been tortured. We're talking about children who have been neglected and whose being has been destroyed and who cannot run away. The NGO says the 23 children that have been rescued will be catered for in a shelter and then subsequently handed over to their biological parents after a year under review. But they also want government to, as a matter of agency, channel funds into agencies such as the Ministry of Gender, the Social Welfare, to also help in the fight against child trafficking. Calvis Tete, City News, Winneba.